My name is Matt Walker. Uh, I am a uh, part of the business development team for specifically the micro fulfillment solution at Dematic. And this is my colleague. Hey there, I'm Ryan Finnegan. So uh, also working with Matt in uh, bringing together business development, predominantly focused on the European market myself, uh, coming over from the UK. Uh, but yeah, micro fulfillment is something that we're really pushing into the, the retail space moving forward. Great question. Intro logistics is really kind of the art of automating um, the the movement of goods and, and uh, information flow, typically through a supply chain system, so distribution centers or warehouses. Uh, but now we're seeing that actually expand out and it's really about powering the future of commerce. Yeah, just to touch on that, it's really, um, in my experience, I mean, moving something from A to B, something that humans have done for since time began, all we're doing it now is trying to make that person more efficient and uh, really emphasizing their, their workload. So being able to, to, for them to do something a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently in the, in the retail and grocery space. So intra logistics is important, I think, for most industries, but we're seeing a huge trend specifically in grocery because uh, consumer demands are changing and, and retailers are really after that true omni-channel experience. And with that comes a whole new set of challenges around uh, centralized fulfillment or decentralized fulfillment and really speeding up the pace in which customers can receive their products. And uh, Ryan, what do you think about uh, apparel, uh, general merchandise, other retailers outside of grocery? So I think what we'll, we'll see moving forward a lot more of is the the movement of intra logistics into that front of store, back of store retail environment, whereas historically, I mean, we've played in, in the warehouse space where we're behind the scenes and nobody really knows about automation and what it does, uh, how you get your product to you. Whereas I think moving forward, we'll see a lot more of that, whether that's in the back of a, a grocery store, in the front of a, a retail outlet, allowing you to, to come in and do your click and collect with the, the cranes, the conveyors, the robots, picking and collecting your, your items right there in front of you. I think we'll see more of that, definitely. So over the years, we've seen a lot of evolution through the, the retail e-commerce business within Intralogistics for us. Um, moving forward, what do I see that space going into? Probably a lot more interaction with the customer. So what we're seeing is we're seeing the uh, consumers taking up a, a driver for basically wanting products very quickly. Consumer demand will really drive process moving forward of how we get products to you, the customer, that much quicker. I really think there's three main ones that we've been focused on. The first is the continued digitalization, right? Everything is technology-based these days. Consumers are continuing to become more and more engaged with technology. They're not scared of it, so to speak, as maybe as they were in the past. The next is the continued use of that data. So all of that technology, all that digitalization is really driving a lot of data. How do we empower our consumers to make the decisions they wanna make or, 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 or do the things they wanna do because of that data collection? And then the last one, selfishly for us, is just supply chain prominence. As consumers continue to demand more and more from their retailers, that puts a huge stress on the traditional supply chain network, and Dematic is developing the solutions to create that next generation of the supply chain network. So the benefit that I see for retailers in automating their intralogistic solutions is really paramount to ensuring that their colleagues are performing to the best of their abilities, being able to increase their efficiencies through pick rate and just processing operating at, at the work environment. Also through us trying to drive safety in the workplace through better ergonomics, better performance for that uh, colleague to do their job in a safer, more economic way to both the, the person themselves and the, and the client. How about you, Matt? No, I think, I think to sum it all up, it's, it's really all about the customer experience. Uh, as we really uh, start to deploy more and more automated solutions across all of our different vertical markets, the reality is, is it's, it's, it's really done at the end of the day, rooted in customer experience. The challenges I see the retailers facing in the omnichannel economy today are really driven around the trends of digitalization, how this is going to drive uh, consumer loyalty, whilst we as a company are obviously empowered to maintain the profitability of the retailers. This is something that is going to be improved through intralogistic solutions, but also key focus around what the customer wants. And where that leads is uh, an increase in, in SKU range and offerings from the, the, the end client to the customer. And that has a negative effect on then returns. 
So moving forward, that's going to be something that is going to even increase further and further into the future, which is something we're trying to help the, the retailers. Domatic has a variety of solutions that can really help solve the problems that are you know being faced by our grocers and retailers today. First and foremost, you know the solution that we launched and we're here talking about more today at NRF is the concept of micro fulfillment. So really, how do we start to decentralize the traditional supply chain network and get it closer to the consumer and make it hyper local? Yeah, I think as, as well as that, a dramatic, I mean, micro fulfillment is, is key for us moving into both of those spaces, but also return systems, something that we're, we're pushing into the retail space specifically to help combat that trends of digitalization, increased skew range within the, the retail space. So the returns is something that's increasing even further and we need to cater for that with it being an intralogistics solution provider. The concept of micro fulfillment is really quite simple. It's all about taking and, and getting the end product closer to the consumer. The way we do that is by taking one of our highly automated systems. We shrink the footprint of it about to 10,000 square feet. And then we take and we put it in a retailer's existing storefront or some other un underutilized space that they have. And then we highly automate that solution and we bring goods to the retailer. And then we enable that one hour delivery uh, fulfillment to the to the end customer. I think, you know, automation within order fulfillment as a whole is going to enable retailers to have faster delivery. It's certainly going to be faster than, uh, you know, a manual pick solution. It's going to be much safer. Automation really takes away a lot of the safety issues, the ergonomic issues faced by a manual pick operation. And the reality is, is order fulfillment online, grocery online ordering, e-commerce ordering. The reality is, is it's growing so rapidly that a manual pick operation alone is not going to be sufficient. So automation is going to have to be utilized for online order fulfillment in the future. And an offset of that is really the benefit that it brings the in-store customer, because no longer is that that automated pick process that we're trying to deliver. The, the manual person isn't walking up and down the aisles to find the consumer's product to then send online. So the only people in the store are the people who want to be in the store. And that's a real benefit that micro fulfillment will bring to both the retail and the grocery, grocery environment. There's a, there's a variety of strategies that retailers could employ, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to automation. Automation that is powered through software that's upgradable, that allows it, the solutions that they choose to expand and grow with that retailer as consumer demands continue to change.